hello. <laughs> this video, <laughs> I am very excited for. I've been thinking about this for the past couple days because I have been a fanatic Pinterester. I find that right around like the end of my moon, my period, I get into this like, okay, who am I in this next cycle? And then I go to Pinterest and then I spend a very long time on there. So today I have my computer. I am screen recording my Pinterest and we're just gonna have some fun. We're just gonna do a little bit of, I'm gonna walk you through my like fall, winter, board inspiration. It's fashion. It's, I'm currently pinning. I need to stop that. Yeah, it's fashion. It's like mood, it's mindset, it's a whole bunch of things. It's just how I want to feel, how I want to look, the vibe I want to have, the energy for fall and winter. Um, yeah, let's get uh, let's get on into it. Okay, yeah, so I will show you my home feed. This is what Pinterest thinks of me. Um, I personally adore the Pinterest algorithm. Oh my god, it understands me, it listens. I mean, I don't adore it in the way that's like, I, I don't think it's healthy how much it knows me. I see things like this, like two old people standing in front of a Paris bookstore. And I'm like, how did it know that that is part of my identity? Okay, anyway, yes, this is kind of a sneak peek, a little glimpse into my home feed. Um, yeah, let's go to the board. I will put my Pinterest down below if you're interested in looking at my, uh, at my boards. Yes, that's me. We all know this. And there we go. Ugh, okay, so how am I gonna do this? I'm not gonna look at every single one, but I'm just gonna, like, scroll you through and find a couple that, like, really sing to me. And I will... Um, sort of walk you through like why, why they're on that board and like what the vibe is that I want to bring into this fall winter seasons. Okay, first of all, loafers and like fun colored socks and slouchy socks, I fuck with. I like, I don't, don't get me wrong, I don't have any. <laughs> But I'm waiting for my perfect pair of loafers to come to me. I have this thing with clothing where it's like, there's something in me that's like, I don't want to seek it out. But if I am out and like open and it comes to me, oh my god, it's mine. I want it to be organic and authentic. And that's kind of how I'm, you know, how I feel about these loafers. In this picture specifically, I love the wide leg brown leather pants with the yellow socks and the brown loafers. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. But yeah, loafers in general, like black, chunky loafers. I love a good sock and loafer combo. Again, slouchy socks, fun colored socks. Beautiful. Um, footwear is kind of hard for me. My proportions are a little weird. I'm very much like half and half. Like my legs are not very long. My t I'm very much like half and half. I've always kind of gravitated towards like boots and like chunkier things on the bottom to balance out and to sort of elongate my legs. Um, but yeah, to balance out my proportions. I haven't found my like footwear yet. I have a pair of boots that I've had for like years that I adore um, that I will keep going back to probably until they fall off my feet. But yeah, I'm still kind of looking for that. So, so moving on, mixing patterns. I think it's very cool mixing patterns. Um, I don't do it a lot, but I would love to. <laughs> I think like a cool check, like a tweed with like stripes or a tweed with, um, I don't know, like this one. I don't really like, is that checks? I don't really know what that is, but yes, I love mixing patterns. I think it's so cool. It's like very loud. It's very much like a statement kind of like what I want to be perceived as a being. I will wear mixing patterns and I love it. Okay, so I'm a knitter. I'm a knitter. I'm a crocheter. Currently, I am many, many, many miles from home. I'm still in the UK, so I don't have all of my, like, crafting tools, but I have been dreaming up some projects that I will do when I get home. I want to make myself a balaclava so bad. 100% I will make myself a balaclava. Either 
like patterns like this I love this one or or like a chunky one I love this chunky one with the big old sunglasses I love it I will make myself a balaclava I also am going to make myself a sweater and I also want to do a sweater vest that is a big to-do list for me I usually just do like one project in the like fall winter season because I like to do it where I start it and then I want it done like within two weeks two weeks is like maximum I will not work on a project longer than two weeks my little Aries placements um, are just not happy with <laughs> we just like to start things and finish them immediately I love a nice two-week project and then I burn myself out with like crocheting and knitting so that I just like do one and then it's done for the season but maybe this time I will exercise some what is it called patience maybe I'll exercise some moderation with my crocheting and knitting so I can actually do more of it we'll see I would love to do a balaclava um, a sweater like a chunky chunky knit sweater like this one I love with the scrap yarn it's all like different colors beautiful I adore it a nice sweater vest I have a shirt that I have had for years I thrifted it years ago I think from like a Goodwill bins in Seattle so like it was pretty nasty but I washed it <laughs> it's beautiful it's made in Portugal and it's like this beautiful linen top it has puffy sleeves and they're like three quarter sleeves and I've worn it like maybe twice it's very see-through so I've worn it maybe twice but I want to wear it more like I've not gotten rid of it because I'm like I know that I will have the right time to wear this and it is with a sweater vest I know it is I need to make myself a sweater vest and then I can wear this shirt I'm very excited about it so sweater vest is also on my list of things to crochet when I'm home knit or crochet the next sort of category I love a vest I have this denim vest that is the cutest thing ever I don't really wear it buttoned just because I feel like I'm suffocating and um, like sensory wise not great for me but wearing it like open and layering adore I love it so much and I would love other kinds of vests as well I think they're so cool I think yeah a knitted vest maybe a knitted open vest but this one it looks quilted it looks very much like a quilt that somebody turned into a vest I love 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 a vest I love it for layering a good old vest like just wearing it as a shirt love it so much there's this denim one here that's layered. It's a little looser than the one I have. This is kind of what I'm going for with like the knitted one. Like this knitted, it ties at the sides. It's very much like a, I guess it's not really a vest then. It's just a shirt, but it kind of reminds me of a vest. You can layer with it easily. Um, yeah, ties at the sides, just kind of like a, almost like a bib, I guess. Love a knitted bib. <laughs> but yeah, like a nice, a quilted one. I love, very cozy. I love a vest layering I love big oversize layering doing like just a full oversize look of like you know uh, wide leg jeans and maybe like a turtleneck or something underneath with a big coat and maybe like a another layer under that too like a like a cardigan possibly and then a big coat and a massive scarf with like a crossbody oh. I love I love so much I do have like a, a colorful oversized scarf like this that I adore and will be wearing for fall and winter absolutely but I love like the the neutrals with accessories and then like pops of color with those accessories I'm loving like bright red especially for this coming fall and winter I think bright red and like marigold will be my two or we will be two very big like accent colors for me very excited about it Boston clogs I love them oh <laughs> the first comment is ugly with like five Y's I disagree I think they're beautiful I really love them I love also duck feet I think it's a Swedish shoe brand I love them it's like the clown shoe aesthetic but they're just fun to me I have also very wide feet so the toe box is great 
wearing them with big slouchy socks, colorful socks under like a monochromatic outfit. I adore them. I will jump on this trend. I will love it. I actually just got rid of my Birkenstocks that I've had for six years, they were done. <laughs> they had reached their final days. So I'm looking for like new cozy slip-ons and it might be Boston clogs, but it might also be like Boston clog adjacent shoes. Oh, this one is kind of very specific, but I really love it. I love the scarf with a hat underneath it. I want to make myself a balaclava and then wear a hat underneath it. I think that's so cool. Like a baseball cap. I love that so much. Comfortable clothing is very important to me as well. Like feeling comfortable in whatever I wear. I have so much in the past just like pushed through discomfort in order to like look a certain way and I just have no desire to do that anymore. I just want to be comfy um, and then whatever comes from that comes from that. But it's a lot of big layers and it's a lot of balancing top and bottom with like if I'm gonna go for like a skinnier leg or like a like a fitted and then like flared leg I can do like a big on top or like big on top big on bottom like just balancing out proportionally is a really fun game that I have been having a lot of fun with lately. I love a fun printed coat. I love a quilted coat. I love a long coat like a robe coat. Love. I bet you can get kind of a, a feel from what I've showed you here, from what I've talked about. That's, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm loving. That is what I am loving. I share this just as a way to share what I'm, what I'm uh, working with, what I'm thinking about, because it just, it just makes me so happy to share what I love. Um, and I would love to know what you're loving for fall and winter. I want this to be a conversation. I want to like get coffee and just chat with every single one of you about the things that are inspiring you currently. So hit me up. Let's go get a cup of coffee and chat about our Pinterest boards, <laughs> please. I love you so much. Uh, I hope you have a great day. If you want to stalk my Pinterest, it will be in the description of this video. Thank you for coming along with me and letting me spiel to you about the excitement that is my Pinterest. Mwah! I love you. I'm officially calling British schoolboy fall winter chic.